everyone, it's Annie Pennington. I'm doing a little rearranging in my shop today, so I thought I'd share with you how I prevent rust on my hydraulic press. I share a space with my boyfriend. He's a luthier and does guitar repair, and all of his guitars have to stay hydrated, while all of my tools have to be dry. So we're in this constant battle of humidifier, dehumidifier. It's a little difficult. Um, my press and all my big tools are on the first floor. I have a studio up on the second floor. But the, the big tools are in the same space as his business. So I've come up with this really cheap, not very attractive, but very functional way that I've found to keep the rust at bay. Here's my trick. You know those little packets of silica that you get like when you buy a new pair of shoes or it's in medications? Um, little paper packets that absorb moisture. Well, what I use is kitty litter. So this is, I think it's pure silica. It might have some other stuff in it. Um, but it's the clear cat litter. Um, it's worked wonderfully. So what I did is I took a pair of pantyhose or knee highs, you know, whatever you have laying around, and I made little silica sausages. <laughs> so they're kind of gross looking, um, but it was really easy to make a whole bunch of them. Basically, you pour some silica in a pair of pantyhose, tie a knot, cut it off, tie another knot, and then keep filling until you, you know, make as many of these as you want. I don't place them directly onto the press on the places that it will rust because I found that because it does absorb moisture, it's drawing the moisture to it and where these touch steel, it will rust the steel because it's pulling the moisture from the air. So I found, you know, I've, in some places I'll put one of these in a, in a box that's in a drawer that has my pancake dies or something like that. Um, for my press, I just sit it like I'll balance one up here or flip it over. This will all make more sense later. Or I'll put one down at the bottom. Let's see if I can show you. Oops. So there's my little sausage. Now if I were to leave this the way it is in this humid environment, it's not going to really do much good. So instead of trying to control the humidity in the entire room, what I do is I create a mini environment just for the press. It's not pretty, but I use a trash bag. I make sure that all of my little pantyhose sausages, my silica sausages, are where I want them. And then I take a trash bag and then I just slide it over the top, making sure that everything is within the trash bag. I've had it like this with the trash bag over it for how many years? Probably three, three and a half years. So I know it works. Um, will it work in, you know, coastal cities where it's humid and salty? I don't know, but it works for me in Wisconsin in my boyfriend's guitar repair shop. I hope that helps. It's just a quick little tip. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, um, subscribe, and thanks for watching.